Hi friends, welcome to Civil Learning Library channel for the topic Stat Shortcut Keys. C plus B shortcut key used to display the beam numbers in Stat. Here you can see the beam numbers display in this image. Then C plus E shortcut key is used to display the start and end beam colors. You can see here this green color as start of the beam and the blue color as end of the beam. Shortcut key shift place I used to show the axis at origin. You can see the axis here. Here the axis color is X is blue, Y is red, and Z is green. Shift plus J shortcut key used to display the entity reference number. Here you can see here R1, R2, R3, whatever entity used for each uh, profile, it will display here. And shift plus K shortcut key used to, to display the node point labels. Here you can see wherever node is there it is display if you press again shift plus n this will disappear and shift plus m circuit key used to display the material label for each entity if it is steel it will display steel or concrete it will so as concrete so it is used to, to know the material and shift plus n display the node numbers here you can see the node numbers are displayed if you press again it will disappear Shift plus 4 shortcut key is used to display the local beam axis with respect to the beam orientation. You can uh, see the images here and, and the color of the axis is blue is for local axis x direction, y is for red and z is green. You can see the axis orientation changes for vertical and horizontal. Shift plus S yes, shortcut key is used to display the supports you can see the supports here if you want to uh, remove the supports you can press shift plus s it will disappear you can see this below image also then shift plus v shortcut is used to, to display the load values if you press shift plus view this load value will appear here and for disappear you have to press again and shift plus x shortcut key is used to, to display the member sections whatever member sections we assigned it will appear here then shift plus f4 is used to do tile the windows horizontally you can see the example of the images here then shift plus r is used to do display the member releases or element releases you can see the releases here then normal control c is used to do copy of an any element control g shortcut is used to do create a new group from the selected entities you can see an example here then control n Shortcut key is used to create a new start file. If you press Ctrl plus N, then this dialog box will appear. Then you can put the new name and you can open the new start file. And Ctrl plus O is used to open an existing start file. If you press Ctrl plus O, the start will appear like this. Then you can open your existing start files. Then Ctrl plus P is used for the printing options. You can see the images here. Control plus S is used to, to save the current project files. Then Control plus X is used to cut or delete any members. We have to select uh, uh, any members and if you want to cut it, then after selecting, you have to plus Control plus X. It will cut the member. Then Control plus FI is used to run the analysis and design in start. Instead of going to analysis tab, we, you can use directly Control plus FI. It will start to run the analysis then control plus one used to view the model in wireframe you can see an wireframe images here then control plus two is used to view the model field one then control plus four is used for the 3d rendered view you can see the images here then control plus f4 is used to close the current view you can see this first image here everything is there. This be known known numbers, beam numbers, and the start image is there. If you press Ctrl plus four, then first it will disappear. You can see the next image that our start image is gone. Then again, if you press Ctrl F plus four, then your beam will number will disappear. You can see this image here. Uh, only known number is appearing. Then if you press again Ctrl plus F four, this also will go and start will close automatically. <laughs> And uh, control plus middle button of the mouse will use to, to, to scale the results. If you want to increase the scale, scale of this image, you can uh, press control plus if you press, uh, scroll down the middle button of the mouse, it will increase and uh, decrease. 
then control plus shift plus f4 used to tile the start windows vertically you can see an example here then control plus shift plus a is used to, to show the axis of an uh, global axis of start you can see the here if you want to unhide the if you want to show this you can press this or if you don't want to show in start then you can press this one it will disappear this uh, axis then shift plus f5 is used to cascade the all the windows in the start you can see an example here in this image then shift plus a key is used to display the member specifications like what are all the members is assigned as for uh, uh, traces then the orientation of the column if it is 0 degree or 90 degree like that uh, it will uh, gives you then shift plus g is used to show the diagram information you can see the information here so if you press shift plus g the information will appear here at down if you don't want you can press again so it will disappear so it will display the uh, uh, what is the load case load one or load two and this is what diagram displacement diagram like that that details will appear here some of the other circuits keys are listed here without an image Control C is used for copy and selected element. Control V is used for paste an element. Control Y is for an redo action. Control Z is it for an undo action. And escape button is used for cancel on any action. Delete button is used for an delete on any selected element. Alt plus F4 shortcut key is used to quite the start program. Shift plus C shortcut key is used to display the solid element numbers. Shift plus D is used for dimension display. Shift plus P is used for displaying plate elements. And Shift plus 1 is used for the master and slave nodes. Up or down arrow keys is used to rotate the model up or down in the view window. Left or right arrow keys is used to rotate model left or right in the view window. Control plus left or control plus right arrow keys is used to spin mode left or right in the view window. And Shift plus F also is used to display the floor loading. Shift plus T is used to display the local plate element axis. Shift plus W is used for display wind loads. Shift plus Y is used to, to display the floor load or floor distribution. And F2 is used for selected objects. F4 is for changing the orientation. F1 for uh, help. And F12 is used for the animation in. Control plus Shift plus B is used to display the design group for physical members. Control plus shift plus E is used to for the design envelope for physical members. Control plus shift plus G is used to do display the design group for physical members. Then control plus shift plus M is used for physical member numbers. Control plus shift plus T is used to do display the local surface. Control plus shift plus P is used to do display the surface element numbers. Thank you for watching the presentation. Hope this presentation is useful. Please like and subscribe to support and get more videos. Thank you.